And that company says one of the problems is that we're dealing with the brutal cold right now and then warmer temperatures expected later in the weekend. So if you don't take care of the pipes, that could lead to flooding. Soil Away Cleaning and Restoration in Hooksit has had a busy week dealing with frozen pipes and this weekend could bring even more issues. Buildings over the weekend are going to be really susceptible, such as churches or office buildings that don't have as much activity, schools. Uh, so I highly recommend people monitor those properties over the weekend. Joshua Soloway recommends circulating the heat throughout your home or building. Under your kitchen or bathroom sink, if it's on an exterior wall, those can be drafty areas. If you just open those cabinets up to let the heat from the house flow into there, it'll keep that space that much warmer. He says the cost of keeping the heat on is worth it to prevent damage and possible flooding. Know where your water shutoff is in your home. If there is a burst, you want to be able to shut off the water quickly so it doesn't continue to flow. The bitter cold is reinforcing the need for volunteers to run the Concord Winter Shelter at St. Peter's Activity Center. And hopefully we'll fill these up and the sooner we have them filled up, the easier it is for us to get the doors open. The Friends program will run it from about January 4th until the end of March. Last year, about 30 people stayed there a night, but they need to fill the shifts before being able to help. A lot of effort's been put forth, but it really can get in high gear when, uh, when all of a sudden you see the, the leaves fall and then you get cold and snow and it's a reality. And as, uh, as we discussed earlier, knowing what we have coming in the next couple of days, uh, pretty difficult for the folks who don't have a secure place to stay. And if you'd like to help with volunteering or know someone who would, you can visit this story on our website at WMUR.com for contact information. Reporting live in Concord, Mike Cronin, WMUR News 9. Yeah.